the babysitter who was looking after a 17-month-old baby boy in the hours before he was taken to hospital with fatal injuries, has admitted that the little boy did slip from his pram. The babysitter's name is Quentin Corrigan and he said that baby Ronan seemed fine when he dropped the baby back at his parents' Adelaide home on June the 7th. Quentin Corrigan said that he took an Uber from his apartment in Glenelg North to Ronan's parents, Glenn Davies and Melanie Nguyen, their home in Ottawa at around 4 p.m. I believe June 7th. So just to clarify the babysitter Quentin Corrigan said that Ronan the 17 month old baby boy had slipped from his pram but that everything was fine. So Quentin took an Uber to the parents home Glenn Davies and Melanie Nguyen at which point the parents identified that there was something seriously wrong with Ronan. Ronan was rushed to the women's and children's hospital by ambulance with critical head injuries as well as other serious internal injuries. Ronan's father Glenn Davies wasn't able to wake Ronan. Tragically, Ronan died at the hospital two days later on June the 9th. A murder investigation was launched this week. Police are focusing its murder investigation into the baby's death on the two days that Ronan was under the care of his parents' friends. So Quentin Corrigan, the babysitter, or one of the babysitters, is or was friends with the parents. Quentin Corrigan was identified as one of Ronan's babysitters during that time, but Quentin denies claims that he assaulted the little boy. It wasn't him. We're told that Ronan died due to critical head injuries and other serious internal injuries, but it wasn't the babysitter's fault, according to the babysitter. I'm being sarcastic. I don't mean to be offensive, and I should clarify, the babysitter hasn't faced a trial at this point, but the way my brain works is I generally try to put two and two together. So we're told that Quentin Corrigan was in custody of Ronan during the time that he suffered the horrendous injuries critical head injuries and other serious internal injuries so i mean i'm going to go to that facetious route once more how can i view it any other way okay the babysitter deserves his time in court should he be charged and i will mention at this point in time that he has not been charged at this point in time no one has the police are told that ronan 17 month old baby boy died with critical head injuries and other serious internal injuries but no one's charged at this point in time we're now in July. I don't understand that. I'm not a legal expert, but I have to take issue with the fact that a baby boy has been killed, died with serious injuries, and no one has been charged. Why not? The police are very confident that the injuries occurred when Ronan was with at least one of the babysitters, and seemingly that's most likely to be Quentin Corrigan from my interpretation of this one article that I've read through. So why the heck hasn't Quentin Corrigan been charged? Why hasn't he been taken? taken into custody okay so you can carry on with your investigation and maybe it's identified that Quentin Corrigan is completely innocent at which point you release him and you say oh sorry about that sorry for holding you in custody for however long it happened to be apologies but you know a 17 month old baby boy died so we had to do what we had to do that's understandable society can accept that what society ought not accept is this reticence from the Australian police Australian investigators investigators perhaps more appropriately south australian investigators to make an arrest what are you doing so to go back to the article quentin corrigan has talked to reporters and he says the following so when i left to take him to my ex-girlfriend's place he slipped out of the pram and i picked him up and comforted him when he fell out of the pram he made a noise i was perhaps in shock but i had my back turned to him and he was fine after that quentin you are almost certainly lying in my point of view in my opinion you're or almost certainly lying and even if you're not lying you are vastly wrong ronan was not fine after that ronan died with critical head injuries and other serious internal injuries we're not told of a coroner's report at this point i presume it's a little bit too early for that but my prediction is that the coroner's report will declare will con- con- will conclude that ronan's injuries could not have occurred from slipping out of a pram that's my guess I could be wrong, but that is my guess. I've gone over a lot of subjects like this, and normally, if it looks like a duck, if it quacks like a duck, it pretty much is a duck. And in this case, Ronan was in the custody of Quentin Corrigan in the care of 
Quinton Corrigan. Whilst he suffered critical head injuries and other serious internal injuries, put two and two together and the conclusion is likely that the person taking care of Ronan is responsible for inflicting injuries upon him. I'm going to read through a couple of tributes in regards to Ronan. Ronan's father said, he was playful, he was happy, he was perfect in every way. His favourite word was no. Ronan's father said that he still searches for his cheeky boy. I can't count the number of times I go looking for him. I recently bought a dog to cuddle and I named the dog Rue. So this is a heartbroken father. I'm sure the mother is equally devastated. The father also added thanks to the police. He said they've been amazing. They're getting us the support we need. I think that's interesting. I would have assumed that as much as they try, the police couldn't really provide too much support, too much comfort. I would think the loss of a child would just be too significant for really anyone to make an immediate impact but I guess it's comforting that the father does feel that the police have helped a great deal with the emotional processing of this tragic loss. Ronan's grandmother shared a memorial post as well. She said that the 17 months old organs were donated and saved the lives of three other children. So here's a quote from Ronan's grandmother. Grandma's angel rest in peace even though the time you stayed with your family was not long. Everyone loved you so much. You are cute, well-behaved, innocent, and very handsome. Now how to remember less suffering, my son, now from sleeping, eating, or going anywhere, I see your shadow. Why did God take away grandma's row, my son? So clearly, Ronan's family, his parents, his grandmother, I'm sure many others, are devastated by this tragic loss. I'm familiar with the location, Glenelg in Adelaide. This happened in Glenelg North. It's a lovely place in Australia, and this will affect the local community. People will be shocked by this, saddened. I presume there's going to be memorials in the area. That's pretty much all the information that we have. Police are investigating the circumstances. If anyone has any information, of course, reach out to authorities. I am disturbed that no charges have been made in relation to Ronan's death at this point in time. I can only presume that the investigators know what they're doing. They're acting in a very patient way, ready to pounce with charges against their prime suspect. But if it were up to me, I would ensure that that's already happened. I thank you for your time. Take care.